In a live-streamed racial attack on a New York State supermarket, a gunman kills 10 people. Last May 14, 2022, Saturday at Buffalo, in New York, a gunman Peyton Gendron, 18 years of age, opened fire at a grocery store, killing 10 people and wounding three more before surrendering. According to authorities, the suspect was armed with an assault rifle appeared to be acting alone, drove to Buffalo from his residence several hours away to carry out the afternoon attack, which he streamed live on Amazon Twitch social media site. Officials say 11 of the 13 victims killed by gunshots were black. Authorities said that the gunman, who was a student at the SUNY Broome Community College, had come dangerously close to killing himself before being apprehended. The suspect had a gun to his neck when confronted by the officers at the store, but they persuaded him to drop the weapon and surrender. A man witness to Buffalo shooting being interviewed by the content creator, credit to him. Let us watch the video. They said somebody inside the short store got shot too. I heard that. Um, I heard that the pharmacist came out. She had blood covered all over her. Well, I would imagine so because he went in shooting. Oh, he went in the store to he shoot too. In the store shooting. He shot outside the store and he shot inside the store. I heard at least twenty shots in store. He put the gun to his chin, and then he dropped it from his chin, he took his gloves off, and then he took something and put it on his boots, then he took his, his vest off, and then he got on his hands and knees, and then he, put, then he got down, he put his hands behind his back, and then they arrested him. I have no idea because no, it, it couldn't have been because when I first saw him shooting, he shot a woman, he shot a deacon, he shot another woman, and then he went in the store and started shooting again. So I don't know who he was shooting at because he shot at least eight, eight people. The suspect has pleaded not guilty and faces a maximum sentence of life in prison without the possibility of parole.